Ford Motor Company just came out with the wackiest combination that I have ever seen. They just unveiled the Ford Supervan 4.2. Welcome back to the Drive Electric YouTube channel. My name is Mitchell Watts, and we are here to cover everything related to electric vehicles. So if you're new around here, consider subscribing. You will be glad that you did. Ford Motor Company wanted to compete at the 2023 Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. So what did they do? They built a brand new all electric van from the ground up, but this isn't just your ordinary electric van. This thing makes 1,400 horsepower from three electric motors. I'm going to get into all the nerdy specs of this van later on in the video, so make sure you don't go anywhere. But back to the race, the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. Ford chose Romain Dumas, I hope I pronounced that right, Romain Dumas. to pilot this super van, and he did not disappoint. This race has 156 turns. It has over 4,700 feet from the start line to the finish line. And if that wasn't enough, you're talking about a finish line that's 14,000 feet above sea level. Level. I've personally been to the top of Pikes Peak and I got a little lightheaded just walking around a little bit. And I don't know if that means I'm just out of shape or if I'm not used to that altitude, but it's probably the first one. Even though Romain was working on a brand new vehicle, he was still able to win the open class at the record setting eight minutes and 47 seconds. I want to make sure you heard me clearly. They broke a record with this vehicle, an all time record, not just winning first place in their class. And all of that was done in an electric vehicle. An electric vehicle is absolutely perfect for Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. In fact, you might see that electric vehicles are going to be the future of racing. Just think about it. You got a high altitude. The air is very thin up there. In an internal combustion engine, you need a lot of air to make the horsepower. And the good thing about an electric vehicle is that they don't require any air to make the horsepower that they do. To say it another way, a naturally aspirated engine, combustion engine, will lose about 3% of its power for every 1,000 feet above sea level that you go. And so if you want to kind of think about it as an example, you've got a gas car that makes a thousand horsepower, which is not absurd or crazy for Pikes Peak. And if you go to this level at Pikes Peak, you're talking about 42% power reduction just based on the thin air alone. So that thousand horsepower car just turned into a 580 horsepower car instantly. But electric vehicles make consistent power regardless of the altitude. So the fact that Ford was racing an all electric vehicle actually helped them make that consistent power all the way up the hill. Mountain, hill, same thing. <laughs> there is one problem though. This high altitude creates thin air. And just as I mentioned to you earlier, there's 156 turns in this race. And the van is designed to go 150 miles an hour easy. And so those two things are a big problem. Your car needs the extra downforce so that way the tires can grip the road properly, keeping you from sliding completely off the side of the mountain. The thing you might notice is this massive wing on the back. It's made out of carbon fiber and it's designed to make a ton of downforce. Now that's just one of the many pieces of aerodynamics working together to create 4,400 pounds of downforce at 150 miles an hour. And with that much extra weight, you can actually take corners at some crazy levels of speed. So let's jump into some of the nerdy details on this van. Now you might be wondering why Ford is calling this the Supervan 4.2. Well, the reason is because there was a previous version of this vehicle called the Supervan 4.0. It was actually debuted at the Goodwood Festival of Speed, and that vehicle had four motors in it, and it made nearly two thousand horsepower. And for this hill climb, Ford decided to reduce the number of engines from four down to three. And because of them doing this, it's going to save a lot of weight. In addition to that, they are also utilizing Stard's ultra high performance lithium polymer battery cells. Now, these things are designed to save a lot of weight. In fact, those changes alone made for a perfect power to weight ratio. You're talking about 400 kilograms worth of weight savings, which is roughly about 881 pounds worth of savings. Now, one of the motors is going to be in the front to power the front two wheels, and you've got two motors in the back. And so that combined is going to make 1,400 horsepower, which equates to a discharge of about 1,050 kW. This vehicle also has regenerative braking. In fact, it's been revised so it can get as much energy back into the battery pack as possible. And at first I'm like, 
Why do you need regenerative braking? The hill climb is only going up. That doesn't make any sense. And then I realized, oh yeah, what goes up must come down. <laughs> Once the race is over, you got to turn the vehicle back around and start going down towards the starting line. And you can pick up a whole lot of energy on that way back down. And so in addition to the regenerative braking, Ford has even upfitted the vehicle with some ceramic carbon ceramic brakes and magnesium forged wheels with some Pirelli P0 race tires. A few other upgrades on the car is going to be upgraded drive shafts to handle all of this power. You've got a lightweight windshield and a minimalist race interior to save as much weight as possible. And that is your first look at the Ford Supervan 4.2. And I think it's an unbelievable feat that Ford was able to break an all-time record right out of the gate with this brand new vehicle. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video on Drive Electric. Check out driveelectric.com. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And as always, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single video. Have a great day.